this project represents a, a commitment to the animals and animal welfare in our community. It is vital to uh, it is vital to the success of all those involved uh, at the Humane Society, the staff, the volunteers, and most importantly, the animals. Uh, I look at this project and the facility is not a legacy, it's not a monument, uh, it's a safe, practical facility that's going to serve the Humane Society for many decades to come. And truly, this is the reason why I'm honored to, uh, to get behind this campaign, uh, because it's so desperately needed and one which our community will benefit from. When we set out to design this new building, the foremost uh, driver was care and welfare of animals. And so everything in the building is designed around those needs. It will have a meet and greet room that will allow the public and new adopters to be able to uh, spend time with animals uh, that they hope to adopt. And the meet and greet room is done in a very home-like kind of setting. Uh, the community will be able to get a lot of knowledge about animal care. In today's management of shelters um, and, and within the animal welfare sector in its entirety, uh, there's known as the five freedoms by which we build all care. Um, those five freedoms um, include freedom from hunger and thirst, fear from discomfort, and that's really um, being cramped in too small uh, an area um, or restrained. Freedom from pain, injury, and disease, and uh, for that, for us, infection control is a primary concern. There's also uh, one of the freedoms is the ability for uh, animals to be able to express their normal behaviors. Finally, the uh, last uh, uh, fear, which is probably the most important when they're taken from wherever they're taken and brought into the shelter, is fear from fear and um, distress. And, and it, you can imagine that the need to be able to interact with people, friendly, warm, caring people, is really important. You know, what makes this this building uh, special? You know, it's, at the end of the day, it's a building. It's, it's four walls and it's a roof, and uh, a lot of the bricks and mortar pieces are the same as any building you're see, going to see driving down the street. Uh, what makes this special is really what's happening within the building. Um, the, the understanding of the animal care, what they require when they're coming in, um, and how that integrates in with the, the staff and ensuring that the design and the function that we're integrating within those four walls meets the needs of the animals and meets the needs of the staff so that at the end of the day, it's a comfortable living and working environment for all of those uh, within those four walls. These no doubt have been challenging times and although every effort is being made to knock on every door, we encourage everyone not to wait until you're asked to lend your support. We invite you to visit the campaign website, ittakesheart.ca, to pledge your support. We thank all of those who have and will support the forever home of the Humane Society Hastings Prince Edward. Thank you.